In this video, you're going to learn how to watermark your own pictures. All you have to do is download a program called Paint.net, and there's a link to that in the resources document. Once you do that, you just find a picture that you have the rights to, and then you can watermark it with any message you want. I'm going to go ahead and open a picture. All we do is we can either do File and Open, or we can use this symbol right here. So I'll click on that. And I've now imported the picture. Now if you have a caption you want to put on here, it's very simple to do. All you have to do is go up to Layers, and click Add a New Layer. Then over on this side, you can right click. Then over on this side, down at the bottom, you just go down here and you click on Properties. And just give it a name for your layer, call it Watermark or whatever you want to call it. And then all you have to do is come over to your little tools thing over here, pick the text, and then over here are your colors. So you want to pick the color that you want your text to be. And you can use the wheel here just by clicking in the wheel, or you can click more, and then you can set the red, green, blue over here by moving these around, or you can just key in the hex code down here. Actually, let's switch this to white. Now all you have to do is set your transparency level, and you can do this right here. And we can make it more transparent by moving it down this way. Okay, so let's click over here, and then let's put our text in here that we want on here. Okay, so there's an example of watermark, and you can just move it around by grabbing this thing and putting it where you want it. So you want it down here. And then you can go back, and then you can move this around, move it back and forth, and you see how it becomes more or less transparent. Okay, so there's our watermark. Okay, now all you have to do is save it, so just click Save here, and you'll pick a location on your computer to save it. And then you can give it another name if you want. Now, you can either save it as a paint.net, and it'll save it as a project file, or you can save it as a picture file right away. And to do that, you're going to have to save it in GIF format. So click there, click Save. Now you can change the settings, dithering and transparency threshold, if you want, just by sliding these across and looking at the result over here. If you're happy the way it is, click OK. Now what it's going to do is it's going to flatten the image. What that means is it's going to change the two layers that we have now into one layer. So we'll click Flatten, and the picture is now saved. Now if we were to open it up in our browser, here's what it looks like here, and you can detect down here that there's the watermark. So that's how simple it is to put a simple watermark on your own images.